Right. What do you say we make some deliveries? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'll be having rabbit for Christmas after all. Let's see you escape now that I have your rather peculiar getaway vehicle. Let's get out of here. I'm not leaving the sledge behind. Oh, we weren't trying to escape, Mr Todd. You've caught us fair and square this time. What? <laughs> but before you eat us... Oh, dear. Is that the best you can do? A few little snowballs? <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> I'm, I'm warning you! Come on! Say it! Say it! Yeah! I don't want a snowball fight! Did someone say a snowball fight? Not <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> This isn't fair! <laughs> now that! What I call friends in high places. Mm. Thanks, Nutkin. Any time. Um, Peter, we have a problem. Uh, it's no good. The snow's too deep. And it's getting a little dark. Uh, uh, we've got to get the sledge moving and make the Christmas deliveries, or no one will have the Christmas dinner. <laughs> Idea. Oh my! That's something you don't see every day. Here you are. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas, Mr. Fisher. Oh, thank you. A Merry Christmas. Forgetting the sprouts. I just remembered. I don't even like sprouts that much. Blech. Come on, Peter, let's go home. No way. I'm not leaving without those sprouts. They're way too good to leave behind. This time we'll get into the garden without the cat seeing us. I know. We'll tie one of us to the branch, pull it back, then whoosh, catapult into the garden. Grab the sprouts, come back, and we all head home. Um, which one of us were you thinking of catapulting into the garden? Me catapult! No way, Cottontail. It's too dangerous. I should do it. <laughs> Robert! He's seen us. We'd better make this fast. Let's hop to it. We just need to get that sack of sprouts onto the cart and out of the gate. You brought the cart, right? Uh, sort of. What? Uh, we uh, left it on the other side of the gate. Uh, then we'll just have to roll the sack. Come on! <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> Thought you'd come back, did you? <laughs> I've caught you at last. When I say jump, jump onto the sack. Uh, you won't escape me now. Jump! Whoa! Whoa! See you on the other side! Come back here! I hope. Well, I've got one of you. <gasps> hey! One of Dad's secret tunnels. Sorry, Mr. McGregor, but there'll be no rabbit pie on the menu tonight. Come back here! It was a huge cat! This big! Really, you two? I didn't see a cat in the burrow. Just a cat toy, and your brother is returning it. Huh? <laughs> oh. Anybody hungry? Brussels sprouts! 
Oh, pizza! <laughs> so, how did you get them? Kitty cat! Peter Rabbit! Looks like we've got some explaining to do. Sprout! <laughs> <laughs> There's enough here to feed everyone! All we need to do is get it back to the burrow. <gasps> Hide! Yeah. Uh, just wait till I get you in my cooking pot, my beauties. We need to hurry. But, Peter, there's too much. We'll never be able to carry it. Never say never. We just need something to carry it on. Like a sledge. Where are we going to get one of those? We're going to make one. There must be stuff around here that we can use. That wasn't so hard. Now, let's load it up and get out of here. Yes! Oopsie! I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. <sighs> if only we had the old sledge. You mean your dad's? Yeah, it was amazing. It was amazing! Too bad it skidded across the lake, then crack, then splosh. And then it sank to the bottom. <sighs> mm, better get another one of these crates in before sundown. We've got to do something, fast. If we can't build a new sledge, we're going to have to rescue the old one. But how? No buts, no hows. Just follow me. with that food, Peter. Mr Fisher! <gasps> oh, what? <laughs> oh. Sorry oh. about that, Mr Fisher. <clears throat> Can we borrow your fishing rod, please? <clears throat> Be my guest, sir. But I must warn you, fishing's not much fun in this weather. <clears throat> then we need to break open the ice. Lily, can you tie a really strong knot? Coming right up. Thanks. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm off, and I hope you have better luck than me. Here, perfect. Now, what's the big idea? Can't a fish get some sleep around here? Hello, Jack. I might have known it was you, Peter Rabbit. <laughs> oh, and you two as well. What are you rabbits up to? I don't suppose you've seen an old sledge at the bottom of the lake. We kind of need it. Oh, I've seen it, all right. That old sledge has been cluttering up my lake for ages. Give me more line. We'll get it out together. <laughs> well, thanks, Jack. Well, I hope it was worth it. See you around, rabbits. Oh Whoa! Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Don we know a gay apparel? Fa la 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 la. Make way for Peter. He's the greatest. La 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 la. Peter. <laughs> Mum, Peter spoiled our caroling. All right, girls. It won't happen again. Will it, Peter? Mm -mm. Here's Frizzy, Peter. Thanks. I made it out of twigs when I was little. And we put it on top of the tree every year. <laughs> That's it. Oh, Cottontail. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Mother! <laughs> This time looking for wood, and now we have nothing to show for it. What? <laughs> nothing to bring back to the burrow. We've got to get it back. But if Mr. McGregor catches us, he'll put us in a pie. This is bad, very bad. I'll think of something. A good rabbit never gives up. Okay, cover me. All this snow. This'll make fine firewood. Right. Time to go home and warm up by the fire. Well, well, well. 
Looks like I'll be having rabbit pie tonight. I told you so. <laughs> Come back here! <laughs> You're mine, Robert! <laughs> Where'd you go, Robert? Robert! Should have been back by now with the wood. You stay here while I go and look for them. Did somebody want wood? Peter! Peter! <gasps> <gasps> oh, thank goodness! We're saved! We're not going to freeze! How did you manage to get all this wood? Peter, is it a wheelbarrow? Peter Rabbit? That isn't Mr. McGregor's wheelbarrow, is it? Well, uh, sort of. Peter Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to make our way on foot and fast. Cottontail needs us. This way, Dad. Benjamin! <laughs> That's quite enough! <sighs> Kindly stop this infernal contraption so I can eat you! <laughs> <laughs> Almost! Almost! Almost got you! I've got the mint. Now all I need is you rabbits and I'll have the perfect stew. <gasps> Benjamin, untie the rope! <sighs> What? Wait! Stop moving! We're not the ones moving, Mr. Todd! Huh? <gasps> <gasps> Ooh! That's got to hurt. Oh, Peter Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to the burrow. Woohoo! Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, we're here. Yeah, but Dr. Bobtail isn't. I have one job to do, Benjamin. Bring Dr. Bobtail back to the burrow. But somehow I lost him and Lily. I have to go back for them. No, you don't, Peter. Of course I do. A good rabbit never gives up. But Peter, look! <laughs> Lily! Dr. Bobtail! Yay! Group hug! Whoa! Aww! Uh, now let's go and help Cousin Tail. Let's get you better then. Open wide. Oh. Oh. Uh. Uh, ah, yes. I think I see what the problem is. It seems young Cotton Tail has a toothache. A toothache? Oh no! Is it serious? <laughs> no, no, Benjamin. Cotton Tail will be just fine. I suspect she just chewed a little too hard on something. I'd suggest some mint to soothe her teeth. Oh dear, I don't have any. And we'd never find any, not in all this snow. I know exactly where I can find some mint. Thanks, Mr. Todd. Bye. <laughs> I'll get you, Peter Rabbit! Ta-da! Oh, thank you, Peter. 
However, did you manage to find mint in all that snow? Yeah. It's easy if you know where to look and who to ask. No more hurty? <laughs> no more hurty. Closer. Closer. Not close enough. Lily, we can't stall Mr. Todd anymore. Get out of here. There's no sense in all of us getting caught. No way. A good rabbit never gives up. Uh, I'm just going to hide behind you for a second. I wish we never have found these radishes. Oh, I wish it had never snowed and we never built that snow rabbit and we... Snow rabbits, Benjamin. That's it. Of course that's it. Wait, what's it? Come on, we have to go. What? But we can't leave Lily here. <sighs> Pizza! Oh, please are not. Please. Lily Bobtail, you're the last rabbit I expected to trap. You're usually so cautious. Never mind. So glad you could hang around for lunch. All that falling down holes and ducking icicles has made me rather ravenous. Rabbit with a side dish of radish? What do you think? I don't think so. You're wasting your time. Nobody can untie one of my special figure eight rolling hitch double overhand two and a half loop knots. Hey, it's the Up here! You're too late to save your little friend, Peter Rabbit. You're right. She is little. Hardly going to make much of a meal, is she? Uh, uh, yeah. I'm just a snack compared to our friend Roly over there. Hey! Lucky Roly Poly wasn't caught in your trap. Look at the size of him. He'd make a fine breakfast, lunch and dinner. With enough left over for sandwiches. Hmm. And he doesn't look like he could run away very fast. It's dinner time, Roly Poly. Gotcha! Uh, under, over, round and got it! Sorry we took so long. What? I'm so hungry. All right, all right. Quiet down. We're going home. <laughs> Rats! Out fox by rabbits. I should have stayed in bed. We won't be fooled by a pile of radishes again. <laughs> huh? Radishes? radishes? Uh, um, I'm not that hungry. <laughs> Catch me if you can, Mr. Todd. <laughs> oh, come back here. Hmm. Badgers love worms. I know that for a fact. Just in case, Bucket. Just in case. I'll just make him think that this elastic is a worm. Where are you, rabbits? I can smell you. Whoa. Hey! A worm! <laughs> Come here, my beauty! Oh, cool! You're a fast one! <laughs> Mission accomplished. 
Mr Todd is chasing snow bunnies and Tommy Brock's found a new home. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to my burrow and warm up. And that's that. Everything's back where it should be. Including us. Hi, Dad. Ah, nothing better on a cold day than coming back to a warm and toasty burrow. You can say that again. <laughs> hmm. uh, snow bunnies indeed. Oh, well, I suppose I still have a hot turnip stew and a cosy fire waiting for me. Oh. Oh, what a nice blanket. A bit smelly, but nice and warm. Who are you calling a smelly blanket, Fox? <gasps> it's alive! Get out of my house! Keep your fur on. Uh, I'm only staying till spring. Spring? No! I've got to get up there. But I'm no squirrel. How will I jump that high? Well, there are a few things we might consider. Number one, we could try... Oh, never mind. Friends, I shall now jump to where no squirrel has jumped before. Why shall I attempt such a feat? Yes, because I'm... A... Well, no, Felix, take that squirrel's name. Um, it is because I'm brave and heroic. No tail, and I have very strong leg muscles. No one else would even attempt this jump. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yeah! Save the cheers for after I jump. <laughs> 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 Tell. I'm so glad you're okay. <laughs> I, I promise I'll keep you safe from now on. Come on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hop to it. Oh no! Your mum's heading home already. We'll never get back before them. Don't worry. A good babysitter never gives up. Follow me. Off you go. No time to lose. You best be on your way. Woo! Proceed with yeah! care. Think fast and stay away. And you'll succeed at what you're trying to do. So off you go. And you should know. The golden ring is waiting there for you. <laughs> Come on. Peter. Oh, looks like babysitting tired them out. Mother, what's this? That's not Cottontail's baby carrot. <sighs> oh, Peter Rabbit. <laughs> Yay! What? Oi! <laughs> Happy Christmas, Tommy Brock. Oh, uh, oh, uh, mm. yeah, that's uh, that's cozy. <laughs> oh, uh, that was uh, that was a really nice thing to do, Peter Rabbit. <laughs> 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 Good one, Tommy Brock. Um, aren't you forgetting something? Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, a deal's a deal, I suppose. Phew! <laughs> I can't wait to see 
Cotton Tail's face when we give her her dolly. <laughs> Mr. Todd! <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> Mr. Todd. Careful, Peter. <laughs> Why don't you come and get it? Uh -oh! oh, no! Hey, let me go! I can't let you go, Peter. You're my Christmas dinner. <laughs> Peter! <laughs> what? Oh, where did the ground go? Put the rabbit down, Mr. Todd. Get off me, you interfering oaf. Right, right. Fine. Yes. Oh, I say. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Peter Rabbit. Um, happy Christmas to you two. <laughs> guessing whatever you did with the star was pretty important, right, Peter? Yes, Mum. After all, Christmas isn't about the things we have. It's about the people we're with. Merry Christmas! <laughs> oh, dear. Well, we can't have you walking home through the woods. You might fall asleep in a snowdrift. Mm. You'll just have to stay here with us, Mrs. Diggywinkle. Well, uh, if it's not too much trouble... Yay, um... Mrs. Diggywinkle, stay! Shh, you wouldn't mind letting Mrs. Diggywinkle use your bed, would you, Peter? You could bunk with your sisters. I suppose I could spend one night with them. <laughs> I'll be sleeping a lot longer than that, Peter. Hedgehogs hibernate for four months. Four months?! Oh, what's wrong? Mrs. Tiggywinkle, I was thinking, why don't I take you home? If we use my sledge, you'll be asleep in your own bed in no time. That sounds like a lovely idea, Peter. It's like I always say, there's no bed better than... <coughs> oh, what was I saying again? <sighs> That's it, Mrs. Tiggywinkle. Watch your step. Oh, oh. Thank you, Peter. Oh, my, but you're polite. Just like your father. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might take four months to get there. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you could use a push. <laughs> Morning, Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. <laughs> oh, hello, you two. You don't mind if I rest my eyes now, do you? <sighs> Is Mrs. Tiggy Winkle all right? She's just tired, Benjamin. Hedgehogs need to hibernate through winter, and I know that for a fact. We've got to get her home. Let's hop to it. Hi, bro. What did you say? Wait for me! I mean, Ooh. imagine the dreams you could have if you slept for four months in a row. I had a dream last night and it was summer, except it's not summer now and... Shh! Ooh. What is it, Peter? Do the woods seem really, really quiet to you? Yeah, nothing here except for Nutkin looking for a snowball fight. Did someone say snowball fight? Whoa! <laughs> 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 to play, but we've got to get Mrs. Tiggy Winkle Whoa. back to her. <laughs> nice throw. Thank you. Uh. Peter, look. Uh. Oh, no. Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. <laughs> oh, too much noise. <laughs> oh, this is a nice cozy nook. Perfect for a long, long sleep. Come on. Mrs. Tiggy Winkle, wait. Uh. The sledge! Gotcha! Oh, goodness me! What's wrong, Peter? I lost Dad's sledge. Oh, it's okay, Peter. What is it? It seems that in all the excitement, everyone got a present except you. This was your father's journal. Wow! 
He liked to collect keepsakes from all his adventures. Did he really do all this? Mm hmm There are some blank pages in the back. Room to add your own adventures. Do you know what your father always said was the greatest adventure he ever had? What? His family. <laughs> <laughs> to build a snowworthy sledge. Peter, wait for us! First, find the largest fallen tree in the woods and a stick for peeling off bark. Come on, let's hop to it! 